This is Soul Collector unboxing. This is Brendan Dunn. You don't see the pinky ring, but I promise it's me. What's in the box? A special pair of Nike sneakers using its latest super material that it hopes will change the way sneakers are made. This is the Nike Fly Leather Pack. First sneaker in the Nike Fly Leather Pack that we're taking a look at is the Nike Tennis Classic Fly Leather. As you can see, pretty fancy packaging here. We actually have some of the fly leather material as an insert card, some text explaining the innovation behind it, and even a gold sticker. Nothing makes a sneaker box special like a gold sticker and printed tissue paper. For those that don't know, Nike fly leather is what Nike is calling a super material. It uses discarded leather combined with synthetics. They use a hydro process to manufacture it. Basically, it's very environmentally friendly, reducing the carbon footprint of the sneaker production process. It uses 90% less water and has an 80% lower carbon footprint compared to a standard pair of leather sneakers. All of the pairs in this pack, we'll show you all of them, have the same basic colorway that's white with this specific shade. This is called Guava Ice. I'm pretty colorblind, but uh, I read the box and that's what it's called, so believe me. Um, you can kind of see here the Safari pattern. Not a huge fan of the Safari pattern. Don't really know why they use it on these sneakers, but there it is. Gold Dubrays you'll see on these, as well as gold aglets on the tips of the laces. Also in the Nike Fly Leather Pack, the Air Max 90 Fly Leather. Another important note about Fly Leather is Nike says it's 40% lighter than a standard leather and five times more durable than traditional leather. I don't really feel the lightness factor on these to be totally honest with you. Maybe if we pull the stuffing out. Again, this has the same color that you see elsewhere in the pack. Guava ice on the swoosh. Everything else is white. A little bit of off-white there. Safari pattern on the mud guard. Safari up here. Gold Dubre, gold aglet. All these have the Nike fly leather branding on the insole. There's also an Air Jordan 1 fly leather. I guess if any of these resell, this is gonna be the one. This uses the Air Jordan 1 retro high OG build. So you have the Nike Air on its own. The gold sticker is very important. And it looks like the rest of them. Guava ice on the swoosh, white leather, white safari print. They're calling it a premium leather and it feels fine. You don't see the crease to it that you see on some of the more premium Jordans, but it just doesn't look different enough. Nike says it's gonna be game changing like Flyknit is, but one thing is that Flyknit at least look different. This, not so much. So I'm not totally convinced on that yet. Nike Air on the tongue. Nike also made an Air Force One using the new fly leather material. As you may have guessed, it does have a gold sticker inside. It does have Safari print. There is a guava ice swoosh. This is actually one of the nicer details. This, this little hang tag here with the gold Nike swoosh hit. Again, gold on the Dubre, gold on the Aglis. Nike also did a fly leather version of the Cortez, a sneaker we've seen a lot of this year. And yes, it has a gold sticker on the inside if you needed any convincing. This is the fly leather Cortez, white leather upper, guava ice. A little bit more of that guava ice color here on the midsole. The safari print is pretty reserved here. You see it on the heel. That's about it. Again, gold on the Dubre, gold on the Aglets. This is the Nike Fly Leather Pack, the first five sneakers using this new sneaker material that Nike is calling a game changer. The Nike Tennis Classic Fly Leather releases on September 18. It's available online at Nike.com at Nike Soho, Dover Street Market, and Nike Lab 21 Mercer. The rest of the shoes are available via giveaway. As far as we can tell, Nike's only made 50 of each style, and they will be giving them away. Head to soulcollector.com now for more info on that.